Hi, my name is Jacqueline. Um, I recently moved into Casadas. They are a tiny home community, and this is my place. Welcome to the kitchen. Pretty large for a tiny home. And there is ample storage, um, lots of cabinets everywhere. We have the convection oven microwave to save space so you don't have the actual oven. Um, but it's been basically the same. So definitely did not want to sacrifice the dishwasher. Was very glad to see that. And then I love the country style uh, sink. It's really, really big. So that is awesome. It is only me and my dog Penny. So I do a food de delivery service, um, which has made me cook more usually used to just get like pre-made meals, but now I get all of the ingredients and get to use the kitchen and it feels very spacious. I never feel like I'm, I don't have room to do that. Major things that I do love, again, the country style kitchen sink. Um, I love how there's plenty of lighting everywhere, like natural lighting from the windows. And there's not really much I could complain about. It's definitely spacious for, for 400 square feet. And then we've got the uh, stand-up washer and dryer, which is nice. This has taken place of my laundry hamper. I just throw everything in there. Don't tell my mom that I don't separate wipes and colors. Um, and then I've learned, since everything is a magnet, you can like put little magnets on there to like hold your, your laundry detergent and other things, make it a little more convenient. Since I am short, that's the only other storage space I have up there. So I decided to go tiny. Um, I live in Austin and right now the housing market is a little wild. Um, so before the pandemic, I was looking to buy, uh, but like I said, it, it got it got a little bit a little bit wild. So um, I knew that I would probably have to continue to rent. I randomly got an Instagram ad for Casada Community and decided to check it out. And I'm glad that I did because I love it here. Um, it's nice to not share walls, so I love that that aspect, it, it makes it feel more like a home than an apartment. And welcome to my living space slash office. Um, again, I love how much natural light comes in. I did have to downsize my sofa, but that hasn't really been that big of an issue. Uh, yeah, and then we've got the party set up here with the record player and disco ball. I do like entertaining people. I love to have friends over. I have had to um, pick and choose now that I do live in a tiny home. I never go over like five people at once because it does get a little crowded. But yeah, I definitely like entertaining and hosting. So this is my office. Uh, here is my standing desk and my whole setup. Uh, I was worried with it being in the living area that I feel cramped or like bringing the, the job home with me, but now we're all remote, so I guess that is just how it is. But it's, it's been nice. Um, one little hack I got were these hideaway bookshelves. I feel like that has saved me a lot of space on my desk. It was very messy with all of the books that I have, but those have been like a nice addition. So we did go remote at my company um, starting with the pandemic in 2020 and decided to just stay strictly remote, which has been awesome. Um, a lot of people got to move away from Austin. I've been able to travel a lot more because um, I can work from anywhere, which is really awesome. Um, so with traveling, I have uh, made friends with both of my direct neighbors. Uh, the whole community feels very, very safe to me. Um, and that was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to move here was for the community aspect. We have... Um, Jenny, who works here, and she is our community, I think they call her the alchemist, um, and she sets up really awesome events. The other day we had yoga at the um, little theater that we have, and I know they've done CrossFit before, not my thing, but yoga a little bit more my speed, um, and we're having like a meet and greet uh, this Sunday, so the community aspect was really big for me. There's also a co-working space here, the pool, the gym, it's, it's been awesome. So here's the entertainment 
uh, center. This is built in, which has been really, really nice. Just made it so much easier. This is a very old TV that I was gifted. And now every time a friend comes over, they're like, holy crap, did your TV get like double the size? But I think it's just because it's raised up. I haven't put all of my books out yet. So I use this side as like another little bookshelf. Like I said, I like to entertain. So here's all of my games. Um, and then I might have a little addiction to Bath and Body Works candles, but yes. <laughs> so this has been really, really nice just to have a place to put all of that. So this is one of many of Penny's beds. <laughs> um, she has one here, one in the bedroom and one outside. And she comes and works with me when I'm out here, which is nice. And then this beautiful gifted pillow that I got from a friend, which is really fun of Penny. And you will see her often in my space. <laughs> I've always been interested in living tiny. I had looked around, there's another place in Austin where you can buy tiny homes, but I felt like I might wanna do a trial run first. So again, another plus of being able to rent here. So I moved in in February uh, as the first tenant here, which has been nice also, um, having everything like brand new. Um, as far as a trial run, like I was saying before, I wanted to see if I could do tiny living. I absolutely love it. I would definitely do this in the future, but probably purchase some land and buy my own, my own place. So being the age that I am right now and single, I really love the community aspect. It helps me get out a lot more, especially working from home um, and only being able to see your coworkers through a Zoom meeting. Uh, the community aspect has made me feel more like myself before the pandemic happened, um, being able to hang out with people. But eventually I would like to um, settle down and move away from this type of thing and have like my own family home. Maybe in the future with a family, I would want to have, I, I like the aspect of tiny homes. I like living in a tiny home, but I might need to go a little bit bigger, like a two bedroom. All right, welcome to the bedroom. Again, a thing that they did really nicely is the um, built-in dresser, which has been awesome. And then I have two little closets. I have had to downsize clothes multiple times before moving in, and I still should probably do it again. The funny thing, especially with like working remote, <laughs> is I probably wear the same thing over and over again, but I have a very difficult time getting rid of things clothing-wise. Um, but living here, it has helped me to purge a lot uh, and donate, so that's been nice. Oh, it feels so much better to have less. Um, before I moved in here, I lived with my parents for a month while Casadas was still being built because of the pandemic. They kept having delays, um, so it went. I was supposed to live with them for one month. It turned into three months, but that gave me plenty of time to like go through everything again and also like realize a lot of stuff that was in boxes that I did not need. Another little hack is the bed risers. Those have definitely helped. Um, I'm able to put things underneath my bed. I have a sliding shoe container, which has been nice. And then also like under the bed storage that just zips up for things like blankets or jackets or coats in Austin. We don't really have a winter, so for that two weeks of cold, I've got those ready to go. For me, this is plenty of space. It's just me and Penny, so ample space. I was really, that was one thing I did not want to give up was a queen size bed. I couldn't go smaller than that. But I also love how the ceilings are kind of vaulted. Um, it makes it feel way, way bigger. All right, and welcome to my bathroom. Um, I was worried that this was going to be a lot smaller, but again, just being me, it's plenty of space. Um, you've got the walk-in shower and plenty of cabinet space everywhere. And I even use like the very top to try and conceal my um, storage of toilet paper. <laughs> even though there is lots of storage, I do wish that there was more counter space um, to get ready, but I make do with, with what I have. I have also, um, I used to get a makeup subscription that I really, really didn't need. <laughs> and so I ended up getting rid of that because that was just another thing that I'd have to like find a place to store. Um, so it's actually saving me money. A 
I guess the biggest thing I've learned is I had a lot of things that I did not <laughs> need. So if you're looking into moving into a tiny space, be ready to um, purge a lot, uh, donate a lot. And even throughout the process, like as each month goes by that I, I'm here, I find myself getting rid of a lot, a lot more just realizing like I haven't used this thing in three months. Why, why do I have it <laughs> kind of thing? So I've always been interested in like minimalist. I don't like clutter. So that has definitely been a pro since you can't afford to really have a lot of, a lot of uh, extra stuff in here. That makes me feel great. Yes, I like, I like the minimalist type of living. All right, and welcome to the outside space. This is like my second living room, which has been awesome. Like I said, I do like to host people. Um, so this has been like an amazing place as long as it's not 100 degrees in Austin. Um, but usually at night it, it cools down and it's a, a great place to have friends over. Um, and this is actually what sold me on this layout was the wraparound porch. It just adds so much more space. And I didn't have to compromise on the square footage because it's not included in the, the 400 square feet of the inside. It's just an extra like luxury space. I already had a lot of this like decorated pieces like the rug and the, the lamp and these cute little plant holders. But the rest of it I just ordered off of the internet and got it delivered and put it together and it was pretty simple and I feel like it it fits pretty well in this space. And then here's the front door. Uh, Casada did give us all ring doorbells which has been awesome. And then this is the other side of the patio. Um, so I have this large hanging chair which also came from my place before um, as well as these little privacy screens uh, that I, I got to bring from my old place as well. And then I haven't decided if I want to get some type of like storage unit. So right now, like my ladder and my exercise bike, my cooler are all just kind of right there. So I mainly use this space to lounge and read a book. Um, I like it over here when it's just me solo because it is like very shaded on this side, which is nice. And also, Yes, it does feel more private over here with the trees um, and the shade and the way that they have set up the, the layouts is they're always opposite. So you're never looking directly into your neighbor's house, which is which is very nice. <laughs> and another nice thing about it being a community is they do take care of things like landscaping for you and keep it looking real fresh and nice. I do love that they take care of this because unfortunately I do not have a green thumb. Uh, my Gracious Mother came and got me some plants just for this. Uh, we'll see how long that they, they stay alive. And thank you guys so much for coming and checking out our tiny home. Uh, I hope you learned something you haven't already known. And um, continue to check out Tiny Home Tours on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you.